Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a couple of fun projects to share with you that I created using the awesome Birthday Bash Kit by Queen & Company. I fell in love with this kit the second I saw it because of the pom-poms. I am a pom-pom lover. And so I'll show you how I created the first card. It's really simple. What I'm doing is taking one of the stitched oval dies by Simon's Stamp and I'm die cutting that into this panel of cream cardstock. And this is going to frame my sentiment. So I have the cream panel laying it over top of a white card base. And this is the stamp set that comes in the birthday bash kit. I'm going to be using the make a wish sentiment, stamping that right in the center. I'm going to use some VersaFine Onyx black ink. So I love a neutral on a neutral. Love using cream on white or white on cream. Either way you go, neutral on the neutral. And then what you do is you bring the party with the pom-poms. So I got a little stash of rainbow pom-poms right there. And I glue those around the oval frame opening. I have my little bottle of glossy accents with that needle tip uh, ending that I put on it. I love to use that needle tip bottle with the glossy accents. And I'm putting a drop of glue, pop it on a pom-pom. Drop a glue, pop it on a pom-pom. And as you can see, going in rainbow order. I mean, come on. Neutral on a neutral with a rainbow pom-pom. It's like, forget about it. I'm absolutely in love with this card right here. It's so simple, but yeah, it's just everything you want and more. And in the kit, you get three different sizes of pom-poms, like five, seven, and 10 millimeter. Of each color, each size, you get like 30 of each color and size. I'm telling you, it's like pom-pom heaven. And so when you do the glossy accents, it gives you a little play time to shimmy and slide them around so you make sure you get a straight and a nice oval formation. Then when I'm happy with it, I'm going to let it dry. and put a little um, acrylic block over top of it just to press them down to make sure that it is securely adhered. Now I'm going to move on to the second card. I have this super cute ice cream cone that I'm going to die cut. This is the die set that comes in the kit. And this ice cream cone is really cute. It gives you that nice um, impression or embossed texture. I put a little foam tape on the back of that and I have my panel here. I'm going to start adhering these larger pom-poms. So you know in a lot of kits, this one here, you get an inspiration sheet and it gives you some ideas of ways to use the pom-poms. Well, one of the cards in the inspiration sheet had this tiered or like three scoop ice cream cone, which I fell in love with. So I didn't come up with this idea, but I did fall in love with the idea. And um, so I'm just popping on the ice cream cone. And then also in the kit, which I forgot to use on the first card, but I'm gonna show you how I used it on the second card. The kit comes with all these little like glue dots in different sizes for the different sizes of pom-poms. So these are the largest ones and I'm putting a glue dot on the back of each one of the pom-poms. Now I could have used the glossy accents for an adhesive like I did on the first card, but I think that the glue dots work much better. They're easier. I'm popping them all on the whole entire sheet. Look at that. Now all you just have a bunch of adhesive backed pom-poms. You literally just slap them on your card the nice thing about the glue dots is it allows you to really get your pom-poms tight and smushed in together so that you don't see any of the white card base peeping through. And I know what you're thinking because I was thinking it. I was like, holy cow, I'm using a lot of pom-poms to make this card and I'm not sure if I'm ready to sacrifice that many. And I need to know right now, does Queen & Company sell pom-pom refills? Because I think I need some. So now here's the little mini glue dots for the little mini pom-poms. I'm putting a few rows of those on so that I can pop those on in the nooks and crannies of the ice cream cone, just in the cracks. Again, I can't take credit for this idea. It was on one of the inspiration sheets, but I just love it. Are you guys ice cream lovers? I mean, our family, we can do some damage in the ice cream department, especially during the summer. And we found a new favorite. It is um, Haagen-Dazs. They have these little individual, like the teeny tiny little, well, not teeny tiny, but they're small. And at Kroger, we have a grocery store named Kroger. You can get 10 for 10. So they're a dollar a piece. And they have the most amazing flavors. My husband's favorite is 
coffee. And mine is chocolate peanut butter. And then there's my one son, Charlie. He loves one that's called, I think it's ice cream cone. Loves that one. Then there's salted caramel. I could go on, but you get the idea. Delicious flavors. So now what I'm doing is taking a circle punch on some dark brown cardstock. And I'm just punching a tiny little arched sliver that I'm going to use for a cherry stem. So I'm going to trim that down. I'll take a little bit of glossy accents just to adhere the stem in. And also while I was blabbing away about the ice cream, I added an embossed happy birthday sentiment. And that is all there is to it. The other pom-poms dried, nice and secure. So there you have two pom-pom cards from the birthday bash kit by Queen & Company. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.